What's up, family? Your girl went and tackled Walmart. Not my favorite place, but I went. <laughs> Walmart. All right, so I did four transactions. I really did five. But for some reason, let me show you. For some reason, it would not accept these coupons right here. I had um, the uh, crackers that are in the green box. Can't think of the name of them. They're Keebler and um, something else. And she said I needed to have the ones on the box. I'm not in the mood for fighting the pitcher. Not in the mood. It didn't work. And plus, I needed to get to pick up prints. So I just gave them their product back. It didn't take my um, coupon, so I gave them back their product. For some reason, they didn't work, and I just didn't feel like all that extra. So I just went with that. So here's my receipts. And, uh, well, look at that. Oh, she deleted all that stuff off. Yeah, all this is all the deleted stuff. Fudge, club crackers, an another kind of... Um, Kellogg cracker, and uh, it wouldn't take any of that, and so I had her to delete the whole thing off, and then from deleting it off, she just started over, and she actually did these here, and I did uh, four of those at a time, even though I had five coupons on these uh, Nutri-Grain bars, I had five, but I did four at a time, because of uh, the coupon says to use four at a t uh, in a transaction. So that's what I did for that, and I ended up paying four dollars for that. It took a dollar fifty off of each box, so it's like I paid a dollar a box for them, which they started out to be two fifty. And um, hey, that's what it is. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. I, I have no idea. Maybe when the, when the, everybody was first getting these um, coupons, they had those good deals, but I didn't, couldn't print at the time, and so I ended up with this. So my my other transaction was a Nutri Green bar, and then it was the uh, two waffles. Then uh, that was a transaction, getting these uh, Eggo waffles, and that uh, cost me two dollars and seventy six cents for that one. And then I price matched the cereal for a dollar ninety nine at Kellogg's, and. Um, so that transaction cost me a dollar and forty six cent for four boxes of Kellogg cereal. Then my big kahuna, huna, huna. I I got well I, I um I did the um pop. I got the Sierra Miss. I've got I have uh ten of the cranberry kind and eight of the regular and the and um then I bought me two Seagrams, and here they are over here. Two Seagrams. Now look, uh, these things are in a in a display for one dollar. So I only got two. I chose the uh, Cherry Fizz and the Bahama Mama. And then there's all my soda right there. There you go. So I still have a few more coupons left, and uh, I may be last, but I. Still, I'm in there. I still get it. So everything cost me about $11 because this transaction here, this last one cost me $3. And that was because those two items were $2 a piece. So if you would have took the $2 off of those, then I would have paid a dollar and something or whatever for all that uh, pop right there. But I got those, and so that brought my total up to $3. Actually, I would have paid, uh, my tax was a dollar and 30 cents, and so tax would have been a little less than that, so I probably would have paid just about a dollar and a dollar maybe or something like that for all of that pop right there. But I threw in those two drinks, and I'm good to go. So all that soda right there and then all this food right here, uh, all this food right here. Sorry it's so fuzzy, but I had to modify it to, in order for you to read them. Uh, receipt. Um, and all this food right here. So I might have paid $11 for that. And uh, I guess I'll come back. I'll show you a video of, of I've packaged, tried to start packing up my son's Christmas gift. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be watching you watch. Oh, no, wait a minute. Let me tell you something. How about this? 
I, the girl told me that the, <laughs> I just tell you they just throw anybody at the cash register anymore, and they're they're not trained. The young lady told me that they don't price match with Walgreens. I said, really? I said, since when? She says, Dollar Store, Dollar General. She's naming all these stores, and she's saying Walmart does not price match with any of those stores. And I said, are you sure? She was like, yeah. I said, well, we need to check with somebody. I said, when did this happen? And so she says, I don't know, but that's what I was told. I said, well, we need to go ask. So she comes back, and she says, oh, the lady said I can price match for you. I'm thinking, Oh, my gosh, will you people train your people? Train them. Don't have them up there. Now, see, her and I, we did real good. There was no um, conflict about it or argument or what have you. We just, you know, go check and there you go. She could have had somebody that was just off the chain ugly with her, and it would have been a whole nasty thing. So they need to, uh, some of this stuff they bring on themselves being management for not training their staff and have them out there on the front line getting beat up. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll be watching you watch me.